Portraits of Trump are typically outward focused and in your face. So it's surprising to see a portrait of Trump on stage that is this tangled, tense, and concealed. This very different photo of Donald Trump was taken by Mark Peterson for the New York Times. It shows Trump addressing this year's CPAC convention in Washington, D.C. on February 24th, 2024. This is a very different kind of photograph than the wildly colorful, kind of typical red, white, and blue circus pictures that circulate around Trump's appearances and rallies. For that reason, there's just a lot to dig into here. We consistently see Trump pointing or wagging his finger, waving a hand, raising a clenched fist, but this is very unusual for him to block his face from the camera. I'm struck as well by the high contrast kind of stage lighting My initial thought when I looked at this photo was, this is really reminiscent of the visual style of the iconic movie Citizen Kane. It's got a moody atmosphere. There's a real film noir quality about it. What's unknown is lurking in the shadows. Like Trump, Citizen Kane was a kind of larger-than-life, problematic figure. And I don't think it's too far of a stretch to suggest that this film noir quality is really almost cinematic in Peterson's representation of Trump. This clearly has a televangical vibe to it, with a sense of Trump whipping himself and his believers into a frenzy, like a self-professed prophet. At the same time, it also conjures a smokescreen, the man spinning a web of distortion. And then I also think that there's some parallel here to his verbal language. This is the rare instance where you can readily see in what he's doing with his body, what we consistently experience in his use of words, how opaque, tangled, and tortured Trump's language is. Trump's here in the spotlight. And again, he's sort of masking his own face, which as we've discussed can be kind of, you know, maybe a metaphor for his criminal troubles. Is he hiding? But also there seems to be this sort of circular shadow closing in around him. So as he covers his face, the darkness also seems to be closing in on him as well. And that closing in makes this photo read a little bit differently in light of the recent felony conviction than it would have even a few months ago. Yeah, and I think the darkness does serve as a good springboard to Trump's psychology. In concealing his face, the physical barrier is reminiscent of a psychological one, indicating an unwillingness or inability to engage openly and vulnerably, and certainly to avoid direct emotional connection. That tense posture makes me also think of discomfort and distress, highlighting the anxiety and security that has to be there in spades and clearly underlines Trump's perpetual rage. And then finally, the photo also projects his extreme narcissism with Trump just simply wrapped up in himself, unable to see beyond. The flag here doesn't seem like the typical candidate backdrop, does it? It seems less than a symbol that Trump wants to connect with than it does a kind of backdrop, as you said, to that narcissism. Mark Peterson is well known for his style and also his political sentiments, but I have to give him a lot of credit here for creating an image that's so different from everything else we see of Trump because it remains such a challenge for the public to see Trump beyond all the theater. And it reminds me of that quote from Orwell, to see what is in front of your nose needs a constant struggle. 